Let's get you back. Come.
I embrace the Christ within you. I embrace a loving God, Father, Mother, God within and around you. And I ask the beloved Christ to bless you during our morning prayer together. Amen. So be it. And so shall it be. Amen. Amen. Good morning, my dear friends, on this Saturday morning. And as always, it's a joy to welcome three of our musketeers on YouTube, dear Catherine, Deirdre, and Mary. Blessings to all three of you. And on our Facebook page, welcome to Bert, to Anthony, and of course, to dear brother Clark, up there in Bonnie, Scotland. And welcome, dear brother Clark in North Texas at this unearthly hour. And I do pray that your cousin Diane is responding to all the prayers that are going up to God for her. We can but trust. So we begin our morning prayer by lighting a light. And on day six of Interfaith Week, which is celebrated all around the world, we pray today that all religious leaders will unite and return to Assisi, the birthplace of peace, and that all those who subscribe to hatred and bitterness and unforgiveness towards other faiths we pray that through our prayer that they will come to see a loving God in each child of God. Amen. <clears throat> so we begin our day by playing those amazing bells at St. Mary's Abbey in Waterford in Ireland. Oh, God, come to our rest. Oh, 
Just so good to hear those bells. And now we begin our morning prayer where Spirit guided all our readings and music this morning. And our first prayer is for the day on peace. And it's by a lady called Maggie Dawn on giving ourselves. And this is the lovely prayer that Maggie shared with us. Loving God, we give you thanks that you gave yourself for us. Teach us what is of lasting value and to give our time, energy and resources to those who need it more than we do. Amen. And our hymn this morning from Sing Your Faith and it is hymn number 93, Let Us Sing of Earth's Progression by Angus Martin Parker. It says the hymn refers to three Christian saints associated with animals. Wow, St. Francis of Assisi in the 12th century, St. Kevin, the 5th century, an Irish saint with an affinity for blackbirds, and St. Cuthbert from England, who died in the year 687, who swam with the seals on Lindisfarne. I never knew that. Wow. Let us sing of Earth's progression from the cruel base and mean not all wrong and all transgression has our story always been. On good Francis, birds alighted. Kevin held his hand as nest. Human thought has wrought regression, yet by humans, life is best. Such was Cuthbert's revelation. He stood singing in the sea as the seals in celebration barked their benedicite. Though we take these tales as legend, in them shines divinity, and we make our song elation for all insights gained of thee. Not of force and domination over land and air and sea, but with love's cooperation sing we this theology God of stars and God of the spider, God of fruit bat and of flower. We are agents with creation, working with the Spirit's power. Oh, wow. That is a truly beautiful hymn, acknowledging three great men of God, Francis, Kevin and Cuthbert. And I was blessed to visit Kevin's well in Ireland many years ago in Glendalough. And that was just an unforgettable experience. I pray you have the opportunity to visit Glendalough. Well, our first reflection this morning is on the Psalms from Psalms Now. A modern version, and it's by the Reverend Leslie Brandt. It's Psalm 112. What about the man who trusts in God and is committed to his will and purposes? He is a man or woman who has written deed, even amid the circumstances of poverty, the wealth and blessings of God are within his reach. 
He is a man with purpose and meaning in his life. Even amid the disorder and void of this temporal existence, he is aware of God's concern and love for him. He is a man who walks unafraid. The threats of violence or prophecies of doom do not detract from his validity nor alter his course. He is a man who relates to his fellow beings. He identifies with them in their sorrows and complaints and shares with them his life and his gifts. He is the man who is truly happy and through whom our God is working out his purposes in this world today. And these are the words inspired by the Holy Spirit for each one of us this morning. Thanks be to you, O God. And Spirit guided me to read from Rumi's day book. The sort is paired with the seeker. The day of reckoning is justice, and justice consists in giving to everyone what is proper. The shoe belongs to the foot, and the cap belongs to the head. This is so that every seeker may attain what he's searching for and that everything destined to set may reach its point of setting. Nothing the seeker seeks is withheld. The sun is paired with heat and the cloud with water. And now we come to our reflection for today from the little freebie that comes every quarter from the United Christian Broadcasts. And it's got three words that may challenge you. Muzzle your mouth. Muzzle your mouth. And the author guides us to Psalm 39 verse 1. I will put a muzzle on my mouth. Well, let's read what the author shares with us. The psalmist has a lot to say about the dangers of the tongue. Apparently, he had to guard himself in that particular area. Set a guard over my mouth, Lord. Keep watch over the door of my lips. Psalm 141, verse 3. May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord. Psalm 19, verse 14. Just because a thought comes up doesn't mean it should come out. A fool vents all his feelings, but a wise man holds them back. Proverbs 29, verse 11. You say, but I didn't really mean it. I was just sounding off. You may not think you meant it, but the Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Matthew 12, verse 34. What's harbored on the inside inevitably shows up on the outside. Put yourself in the other person's place. Listen to what you're saying and ask yourself how you'd respond. When you're talking to someone, their acceptance doesn't come from your heightened decibel level, but from your ability to listen, understand, care, empathize, and respond with wisdom. And if none of those things work, do what Jesus did when he stood before Pilate. He opened not his mouth. Acts 8 verse 32. Amazing. He had the power and authority to call 12 legions of angels to his defense, but he didn't. That's strength, not weakness. 
Another word to the wise, never resort to profanity. Don't use foul or abusive language. Let everything you say be good and helpful so that your words will be an encouragement to those who hear them. Ephesians 4, verse 29. A lot of wise words about muzzling our mouth, but how true. And there's nothing worse when someone is inebriated, as I witnessed, oh, a good 12 years ago, when I was running a weekend retreat in Bonnie, Glasgow, the town of my birth. And I had to sleep in the center on a therapist's couch. I didn't get any sleep because outside were two couples rowing till five in the morning. And obviously, as we say here, they were bladdered, drunk up to the gills. And you could almost smell the booze, although I was inside. But the racket, the noise, and the language was fierce. I wonder how they felt the following day. But we're all guilty. I am. There have been times in my life in frustration, even as a young nursing monk, where you do blow hot and cold. But the secret is to apologize. But sometimes that isn't good enough because you may have deeply hurt the recipient of those words. But let us conclude with what I found accidentally. No, the spirit led me to it. It's a Celtic song. I'm not singing it, but I'll share the words. I am giving thee worship with my whole life. I am giving thee assent with my whole power. I am giving thee praise with my whole tongue. I am giving thee honor with my whole utterance. I am giving thee love with my whole devotion. I am giving thee kneeling with my whole desire. I am giving thee love with my whole heart. I am giving thee affection with my whole sense. And I am giving the existence with my whole mind. I am giving thee my soul, O God of all gods. Now, I know that the Holy Spirit has guided all of our readings when I read these words because we talked about muzzle the mouth. And here in this beautiful Celtic song, it refers to the mouth, to the heart, and surrendering to God. What a beautiful song. Well, let us now pray the Gloria. And it's here. Let us switch this off. Let us play this. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And early this morning, Spirit guided my heart to choose this video from our brother John Michael Talbot. And it's come back to me is the theme. From the prophet Jose. Mm. Sorry. Keep us apart. 
your heart. Let us just take these few minutes just to be still and to listen for the voice of the beloved, the Christ, our brother, our teacher, our mentor, our friend, the incarnate Son of God. Just be still, and in the stillness, listen for his voice. Take the words of the song we played, come back to me with all your heart. Do not let fear keep us apart. What are those words saying to your heart? Well, those words were chosen by the Holy Spirit of God this morning. And clearly, the Spirit wants you to hear those words. Come back to your Father, Mother, God. A God of many names and none. A God who loves you, who cares for you, but yes, will challenge you and stretch you. All in the name of love. Hold firm. Be strong. 
And if you are being tested this morning, just name it, bless it, and release it to Christ, and leave it with him. And then give thanks, because the moment you leave your request with Christ or your God, your request has already been answered. So keep thanking God and let nothing disturb you. Because every challenge we encounter is a stepping stone. A stepping stone on the spiritual path of enlightenment. And when it gets too tough for us, we call on our God and we ask for his help. So if you are struggling, give it to the Lord your God. Just be still and experience the gentle healing vibration flowing from the mystical heart of a loving God for you. Feel his love. Embrace that love. Come back to me with all your heart and do not let fear keep us apart. Lord, we praise you. We praise you because you are a God of love. But yes, you test us. But we bless the tests, we bless the disappointments, we bless the many challenges that we each must face on this path. I bring each one of you here and I thank the Lord our God for touching you this morning. I bring the many prayer requests I receive, but I wish to remember this morning the members, the brothers and sisters and friends of the Teo community, a community founded by Christ and St. Francis 11 years ago at the tomb of Francis in Assisi. And Christ asked of our heart, would you be willing to welcome the children of God we send you, brothers and sisters of different faiths, different beliefs, but do not ask them their religion. Embrace them. Welcome them. Because they are a child of God. They are your equal. And the moment you welcome them and embrace them, you are embracing a God of love. Show compassion, respect, and tolerance. But I pray for our members who are unwell, especially Brother Chris, for dear Sister Sue's friends, Kay and Dorsia, for Brother Ramon's dad, who recently had surgery, for Brother Clark's cousin, Diane. We pray for unity and peace within all faiths and in this beautiful world, the Cathedral of God. Let us be still now and let us relax. 
in the arms of the Christ who loves us. And now I want to play, if I may, the Lord's Prayer in French. So let us now, my dear friends, come for our closing prayer back to the Abbey of St. Mary's in beautiful Waterford in Ireland. Almighty and ever-living God, strengthen our faith, our hope, and our love. May we do with loving hearts what you ask of us, and come to share the life you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 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 May the Lord bless you and keep you. May, May he make his face shine on you and bring you peace. Amen. Amen. And now, dear friends, I want to close with this Celtic blessing by Christian Getty, Margaret Becker, and Joanne Hogg made the peace of God. So let us play it for you as my gift to your heart for today. Declare the name. 
name of the Lamb of the Slain, Christ eternal, the King of Peace. May this peace which passes understanding and this grace which makes us what we are and this fellowship of his communion make us one in spirit and in heart and to him be praised for his glorious grace from the depths of earth to the heights of earth, we declare the name of the Lord, the Savior, Christ eternal, the King of peace. And to him be praised for his glorious reign from the depths of earth to the heights of earth. We declare the name of the Lamb of the Christ eternal. As I was listening to that, I got a nudge that in our Franciscan communities around the world, we have a great respect for the mother of God. And something said to me, type in YouTube, Holy Mother. So if you choose to leave me now, that's okay. But I was guided to play this by Kathy Zavada, Holy Mother commemorating the mother of God who gave us Christ, the Messiah. Holy Mother, 
Let me feel your love deeper. Holy Mother, Holy Mother, please purify my mind. Holy Mother, Holy Mother, let me feel your love. Holy Mother, Holy Mother, hold my hand within your hands. Holy Mother, Holy Mother. Let me feel all that I am. Holy Mother, Holy Mother, hold my hand within your hand. Holy Mother, Go in peace to love and to serve a loving God who loves you and who wants to care for you, protect you, strengthen you and all the Lord God asks of you, are you willing to surrender your heart and say, yes, Lord, here I am. Show me how may I serve you today. Amen. I pray that you take from this table of love a gift for those you meet today in your smile and maybe say to them, may God bless you. Amen. Thank you for joining me and to my dear brothers and sisters across the pond. Oh, my heart goes out to you. Thank you. Thank you for staying awake or rising early to join us in prayer. Have a wonderful day, dear friends. Till we meet again, God bless. We praise you, Lord, and thank you. And to all our dear friends here on YouTube, Bless each one of you for joining us this morning. And I truly pray you have a beautiful day. God bless you. God bless. My heart Holy.